Hi guys. All right. We're in my laundry room. <laughs> um, okay, so this week, since we are trying to uh, use recyclable found um, objects, trash if you want, in our journals, figuring out how to reuse things and make them pretty, I thought I would revive an old craft thing that I used to do way back when I was in an artist cooperative gift shop. Um, and that is turn packaging into fabric. I know you're like, what? So I used to take potato chip bags, coffee bean bags, um, 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 sugar bags, all kinds of stuff, turn them into a vinyl fabric, if you will, and then I would make pencil bags and tote bags and all kinds of stuff out of it, handbags. So this one, I'm not sure if it's going to work because it is very plasticky, but we're going to try it. This is a um, dried berry uh, bag. Stone Ridge Orchards All Natural Berry Mix was very good. The first thing you want to do is you want to cut it into something that's flat. So I'm going to cut the sides off. And depending on the... Oops! <laughs> I went flying that way. Depending on the bag, that may mean different things. You may be able to just split it or you may have to cut something off. This was a Ziploc top, so I'm going to cut the Ziploc off. Okay, and it has heat laminated corners. It's like folded in at the corners. So I'm going to cut the corners off so that I can actually open it and lay it flat. There we go. There we go. So we have something that lays flat like that. Now this other piece that I have is um, a Harvest Snap Pea Crisps Wasabi Ranch Flavor bag. I, our whole family, we're addicted to these um, Snap Pea Chips. Um, I like the lightly salted flavor. My husband likes this Wasabi Ranch flavor. If you're going to try this at home, you of course want to make sure you, you need some packaging. You also want to make sure you wash it out. You want to get all the food residue off that you can. Um, again, on this one, I'm going to cut the top and bottom off. Now on this one, it's got the seam up the back. So I'm going to do this, and then we're going to cut that seam off so that, again, we can open it up and lay it flat. And this one should work fine. These, this kind of thing I've used before um, in the version of a potato chip bag. It worked great. I am going to, this is a little damp from when I washed it, so I'm going to go get a rag to dry that off and I'll be right back. Okay, so you're going to need your clean packaging, a pair of scissors to cut it open it so you can lay it flat with. This is a pressing board. This is actually made for pressing um, and ironing and um, doing um, like iron on appliques and stuff. You can find these of course online and you should be able to find them at your fabric store. I will try to link um, it um, in the materials list. The other thing you're going to need, the most important piece, is iron-on vinyl. So this is by Thermoweb. It's called iron-on vinyl. It comes in a bolt like this. Um, it's um, heat and bond iron-on vinyl by Thermoweb. And um, you can get it by the yard. So just get enough to do your piece with. Um, it does have instructions, so make sure you have them give you, you a copy of the instructions. And it's been a while since I've done this, so I'm going to cut off some instructions and have them sitting to the side so that I can see what I'm doing. Alright, we're going to cut off just enough of the thermoweb to do hopefully our two pieces. Oh yeah, that's plenty. It's a little crowded in my laundry room. It's not that big a room. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to put the little one aside right now. We're going to work with the bigger one first. So the first thing um, what you want to do is you want to have your iron on a medium temperature, no steam. Um, and you should test a piece. 
I'm not going to do that because I've done this before. You want to peel the paper backing from the vinyl, but don't get rid of the paper. Maybe we're doing all of them at once. So don't get rid of the paper. We're going to put this face, pretty face down on the vinyl. I'm going to move my board out of the way really quick. And then I'm going to smooth the chip bag into the vinyl, which is a little bit sticky. I'm going to do my best to get out any air bubbles. It doesn't always come out perfect, but I don't necessarily always care about that, so it's usually good. Okay, and then we have this piece over here, so let's put our other bag again pretty side down. the vinyl. Um, there's a shiny side and a uh, non-shiny side so you want to put shiny side down against the vinyl and the uh, packaging. I'm going to try to match this up as, as well as I can because I don't want to get any of the vinyl melted onto my iron, that would be bad. <laughs> be very bad. So with a medium pressure, you wanna hold your iron onto each section of this for eight seconds until you have the whole sheet done. So remember in school, right? One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, six, 1,000, seven, 1,000, eight, 1,000, and then move the iron. You keep doing that until you have the whole piece done. All right, I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Okay, now you're supposed to do the fabric side with the pressing that we just did without the paper. And then you're supposed to turn it over with the vinyl side up and press it with the paper. Because I'm always using um, crazy materials when I do this, I use the paper on both sides. Um, so I have flipped it over and I am going to put the paper back on the vinyl and we're going to we're going to repeat what we just did and basically heat up that plastic and melt it into our um, product packaging that we just stuck to it all right and this doing it both sides will help ensure that it sticks really well all right so i'm going to do that and i'll be back Okay, generally speaking, when I used to do this, I would cover the whole piece of plastic entirely with packaging. This time I didn't because we're just doing this little video. So what I'm going to do, because this is still sticky, is I'm going to cut out the fabric that we've made out of the packaging from the plastic. So I can throw the unused vi part of the vinyl away and it, the sticky uh, remnant edges are not driving me crazy. If you're worried about fumes or an odor, first of all, I have asthma and I can tell you there aren't any, but if you're worried about it, open a window, turn on a fan and wear a mask. What you're left with then is this piece of now vinyl -y fabric that you've made out of this chip bag. So I'm going to cut out this other one and we're going to go back into my art room and we're going to make something out of it and we'll be right back. <laughs> 